Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to play around with black and white. And the reason for that is in our upcoming collaboration, Pouring From Coast to Coast, with Garrick, Tara, Chris, and Maida and I, um, Maida laid down the challenge of doing a black and white piece using only black and white. No shades of gray, no silver, nothing like that. So when I poured this piece, uh, this was actually for the challenge, and I had so much fun with it that I wanted to pour some other black and white pieces, so I did. Um, so this is just kind of a, a bonus monochromatic, and this is gonna be a landscape, which I've never done a, a black and white landscape before. Um, so I wanted to check it out. You guys sit back, relax. As always, thank you for being here. I'll be back here in just a bit. If you are new to pouring landscapes, um, there's a few tips that I have for you. A lot of us find it much easier to tape off a portion of the canvas and do a section at a time. And the reason for that is when you're tilting back and forth, there's a lot of that going on. Um, and it's easier to get one section of the canvas the way you want it, uh, tilt it back and forth, take a look at it, tilt it some more, and try to get as much paint off as you can. Um, the reason you do that is because you still have another section that you have to pour and tilt, and you don't want your finished section moving a whole lot. Uh, you, if you've gotten it to a place where you like it, you kind of want it to stay there. So get that first section done and it can be the top or the bottom it's up to you um, tilt off as much as you can make sure there's very little movement in that section and then pour your next piece Now, generally, if you're just starting out, you're only gonna want to tilt side to side. You're not gonna wanna do what I just did, which was bring your paint down uh, instead of side to side. But I had a specific reason for doing that, um, and you'll see it here in just a minute. But you can see over on the right-hand side, see how the paint you know, curves up like that? That's not a natural look for landscape. Um, that's why I'm gonna tilt it off. But if you're just starting out, go slow and just move your canvas side to side so it looks more like a, a regular landscape.
I decided to go in and add a little bit of very subtle color to this piece. And I'm using Color Art Interference colors. The way that I mixed it, um, I dispersed them in just a little bit of Josanya, and then I added Deco Art Americana Triple Thick Brilliant Brush On Gloss Glaze. Um, it says it's triple thick, but actually when you mix it up, it thins out quite a bit. It makes it really easy uh, to just put brush on your canvas. But um, when you see the dried result, you'll see what a cool effect this has. Um, it's very, very minimal, but um, man, it sure does pack a punch. So from a distance, this piece does look like just a black and white monochromatic landscape. But once you get closer and you change your position and how you look at it, you start to see that very, very subtle color in each section. And I love these types of pieces. They're so fun to do. They look amazing and the effect is just, just beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thank you for being here. Have a wonderful weekend. If you're in a part of the country where the heat is just horrible, stay indoors, stay hydrated, take care of one another, and I will see you soon.